Assalamu alaikum dear viewers. The game I want to share with you all uh, today is uh, oh, the top victory of my life till the, uh, to date. And it is against the Ukrainian Super GM uh, who is rated, uh, whose peak feed rating is 26.98. And he's uh, multiple time uh, European under, 20, uh, under 12, under 16 champion while he scored a second position in one of the Wykenze Tata Steel tournament and he won many of uh, uh, great tournaments. Uh, I got the chance to play him in a simultaneous uh, uh, exhibition uh, in which 21 players were playing against him. The time control was uh, 20 minutes per side with 5 second increment per move starting from move 1. Uh, um, in this game, uh, I was playing black, white and uh, I opened with uh, d4. He responded with d5, I played knight f3, he responded with knight f6 and I played c4, the main line queen gambit. Uh, he responded with Slav defense and uh, I went on uh, playing knight, F, uh, knight c3 and he took the pawn. Uh, and this is a, a very popular uh, line of the Slav defense uh, and there are many ways for white to play. Uh, I responded here with a4 to stop b5 while uh, he got the opportunity and he availed it by playing bishop f5. I responded with the e3 and he played e6 and I took the c4 pawn. This is the main line Slav defense Zich variation. Uh, here uh, I Fortunately, played a few games against KPK champion and one of the top player of the country, Mr. Salman Ali Khan. Uh, one of the game was in a tournament uh, which I was uh, uh, throughout the game I was uh, having an advantage, but uh, the game ended in a draw. While I played uh, one game in this line with uh, uh, our international master, Mr. Mahmoud Lodi, uh, and I played few games against one of the emerging players of Balochistan, Mr. Rehan Khan. So I was familiar with the concept of this line, and uh, one of the most popular game of 14-time uh, Pakistan champion Mr. Mahmoud Lodi uh, was in this line as well, in which he played Veselin Topolo, world champion. And in that game, Mr. Lodi played in this position uh, Knight B, B7, Topolo castled. Mr. Lodi played Bishop B4. And then to follow went for immediate uh, knight h4. And Mr. Lodi responded with, I think, uh, uh, bishop uh, g6. Uh, that's a very interesting game which to follow won. Uh, so I was familiar with this line. So op I opted in this position to play the Zich variation of Slav defense classical system. Uh, Mr. Uh, Ivanovich played bishop b4, which is the main move. I castled, he castled, and he played. I played queen uh, e2 uh, to support my uh, e4 push. And he responded with uh, knight b d7. In this position, the main move is always uh, e4. But one of the sidelines which I prepared uh, is uh, rook uh, d1, and that is a very poisonous move. So I opted for uh, rook uh, d1. He responded, he immediately responded with queen 
uh, e7 and I played e4 and uh, he responded with bishop uh, g6 uh, as per my preparation uh, I always wonder why no GM in the world has ever played this move bishop g5 which is very promising in this position as the knight uh, as uh, the bishop is on at uh, g6 uh, so black has no option to play h6 and g5 uh, to blunt my bishop so uh, i played this line and immediately uh, the super gm was uh, i think out of his preparations and uh, he missed this move and this is a novelty uh, this move was uh, i didn't know was ever played by any gm in the database so in this position uh, the super G uh, gm after taking some time stopped my e5 push and he played e5 himself uh, which i was expecting and i responded with d5 d5 is a very cool move in this position and it is very poisonous and uh, uh, it contain many hidden threats as you can see uh, in a while he responded with uh, h6 and uh, in this position i got uh, uh, a bit confused uh, Initially, my idea was uh, to take the pawn at c6, and he if, uh, he retake my bishop. I can throw the brilliant move rook takes uh, knight at uh, d7, and if he take back with the knight, then uh, I can play knight. Uh, uh, d5 intermezzo and he no good square are there for the queen the queen has to be uh, remain in the contact with the bishop so suppose uh, queen uh, d6 uh, and i can take the knight with my c6 pawn and now he cannot immediately recapture the pawn his bishop is in trouble and uh, the position is very complex. The second idea in this position, sorry, uh, is uh, if I take with the uh, uh, pawn uh, at c6 and he doesn't capture my bishop, instead, he capture the uh, pawn with b pawn, then, then amazingly. I have this move, rook takes uh, uh, the knight at d7, he cannot take with the knight, he has to take with the bish uh, queen, and then I have this move, uh, knight take e5, and the queen and bishops are in trouble, so if he played uh, queen d6, uh, then I can take the bishop and after the recapture uh, the position is uh, very much in favor of white but uh, um, as I was playing a super GM uh, second time in my life so uh, I opted to play a bit safe and uh, played bishop uh, h4 as the pressure is there and uh, he, uh, black pieces are not very much mobile and black has some problems to solve so the gm opted for uh, queen c5 and i immediately uh, uh, this is a mistake uh, in my view as I immediately took the knight and after the capture the e5 pawn is hanging so I took the e5 pawn and I am a clear pawn up without any obvious compensation uh, he, he tried to complicate the position with bishop tech uh, uh, c3 
I took the bishop and he took uh, my uh, pawn eight. Uh, sorry, uh, he took my pawn eight b two. In this position, I missed uh, in the game that there is a very cool move, queen take bishop, and after uh, f take uh, g six, uh, rook a to c one. And black cannot save uh, his pawn at b7. So uh, suppose uh, uh, there is no good way. The white position is uh, 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 overwhelming. And if he played uh, king uh, h8. Uh, to save his himself from the bishop, the bishop can go to a6, and after the queen move, bishop can take uh, at b7, and after rook, uh, I can take the c6 pawn as well. But uh, in, I missed that line, and I went for the straightforward uh, knight take. Uh, f8 he took my uh, rook and instead of taking the bishop immediately i tried to imp uh, uh, interpose the intermezzo with uh, d takes c6 and has uh, there are in some lines uh, knight uh, coming back to uh, d7 and my rook infiltrating the position so he took the knight and in this position i took his bishop and he took my pawn now my uh e4 pawn is a take twice so after taking a while uh i uh my initial instinct was to play e5 but uh, i was worried that i will lose that pawn and uh, rather i played safely with uh, f3 he immediately checked me and i went into uh, uh, the king went into the corner and he took the open file but in this position i played a good maneuver to reg regain the uh, open file i uh, first i played uh, rook uh, c1 and the, my threat is to take the pawn and take his queen. So he ha it, it is a indirect tempo. So he has to play uh, queen uh, d4, and he's threatening uh, some back rank uh, stuff. So I played uh, a very good move in my view, bishop back to b3, and in this position uh, he went with knight uh, h5. And I immediately played rook uh, to d1, and the only uh, uh, move to save his rook is queen b6. And I took the rook, he took back with the queen. In this position, my d1 square is protected by the bishop, so I can play and activate my queen to c4. He responded with queen d7, and in this position, I played. Uh, uh, g3 to uh, relieve pressure of the back rank. Uh, surprisingly, uh, GM uh, took this pawn as he's gaining back uh, at least three pawns in this position, uh, which is very near to end game. But I was surprised because after taking the pawn, I thought that he has no chance to win the position now. So uh, after the series of move he played the only counterplay move uh, h5 uh, and i immediately exchanges the queen and after the queen exchange my uh, f5 pawn is a very uh, is a thorn pawn and uh, this one pawn is restricting three of his pawns uh, uh, so I was happy in this position. Uh, he saved his uh, uh, f7 pawn, and I don't think it is a good move. 
uh, because he's uh, allowing me a tempo. Although uh, after the game, the analysis show that uh, my move King uh, F2 was also not a good move. And his move uh, uh, King to uh, H6 and what else he has. In this position, I thought for a while, uh, we were having some, I was having some four minutes on my clock while the GM was having six minutes. While after thinking a while, I was worried about his uh, counterplay on the queen side by uh, playing uh, first the a6 move and then uh, getting the pass pawn with a5. So I opted for bishop d5 to force him to move his b pawn, which he did. And then I calmly played the bishop to e4. And now my uh, c pawn, uh, f pawn is a problem for him. And uh, there is no easy way to get rid of this pawn. He played king to g5 and I played a very very nice move and uh, instead of playing king to uh, g3 and allowing him uh, to get a tempo with the pawn push I played king to f3 and I love this move because this uh, the black king is threatening to uh, go to the queen side somehow and stop my this pawn if I ever get uh, a chance uh, in this position and I was trying to uh, put him in a zook zhuang so uh, in this position he played uh, pawn to h4 and I played bishop to d3 to stop his queen side pawn uh, counterplay and to stop his tempo over my bishop. So he played uh, a very nice move, uh, a6 uh, anyway, but I was not interested to take his a6 pawn and give my lovely pawn at f5 and all of his pawns will be free to move on the king side. So instead I played uh, bishop to b1 allowing him the move b5 uh, but there is a hidden threat in that move. I simply pushed my pawn to a5 and now his a6 pawn is in light squares and I have a light square bishop and I am only three uh, moves from queening. So the GM spotted my idea immediately and he pushed the a6 pawn, forcing my king to move towards the uh, h pawn and uh, freeing his the way for his king to stop my counterplay this way. But I was not interested in his a6 pawn and I played uh, bishop. Uh, to e4, he played uh, pawn to h2, and now I am forced to reply with king g2. He played king to uh, f4, and I played uh, bishop uh, to b7. Although it is not a good move. Uh, but uh, human-wise, I was very much confident that this move will get me uh, the win. But the computer analysis showed later on that bishop to uh, d4 was, uh, d3 was immediately winning. And uh, okay, the GM played uh, pawn to uh, b4. I took the pawn. He... Uh, Responded with king to uh, e5. I played uh, bishop to uh, d3. He played king to d4. I was not interested to save my bishop. And uh, he played uh, b3. I played 
a6 7 and he took my bishop and i queen and now it is very easy to win this position with the queen up position and the gm resigned in this position if he play b4 i can check him and then force as it is a b pawn as you all know b pawn e and d pawns are clear cut win and tempo gainer for the side with the queen i can force his king in front of his b pawn and then he will lose the tempo and i will use these tempos uh, multiple time to uh, get rid of all of his pawn and then i can uh, even sacrifice my queen uh, for the b pawn and then my c pawn is a game changer so this was a brilliant victory and i was very proud of this game uh, i will show uh, some of the uh, stream clips uh, as the GM was streaming uh, during this game, even during the simultaneous exhibition. And uh, this is my third victory against a GM. First was against uh, a Russian GM, Mazarovich, which, which I already included in my channel. The video is present. The second victory I will share in a few days and uh, with that thank you so much please like and subscribe goodbye